Uh, it's been 50 years now. The Ludlow Garage has been a place where some music legends have cut their teeth. Uh, the Humble uh, Auto Garage uh, turned music venue is honoring its legacy with a pair of events. First is Saturday at Season Good Pavilion at Eden Park, and musician Sonny Mormon is going to be there. Uh, Sonny's with us Absolutely. today, along with the legendary Jim Tarbell, <laughs> the original <laughs> owner of the Ludlow Garage. And, <laughs> and as Jim noted, this was this is this is the logo for the current uh, yeah. Ludlow Garage, yeah. and not for the one that you ran as the music. Venue. And that sort right. of thing. Yeah, that's online all over the place, the original logo. You, you know something, though? Yeah. I was reading a little bit about it. I did not realize that the Lello Garage, the original Lello Garage, only operated as a music venue like that for a little less than two years. Correct. How in, you must have a record for the number of legendary acts you had to play there during that short amount of time. We're talking some of the, uh, I mean, if you look at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all these people are in it. Right. You know? Right. To, uh, what about the early days? How did this all happen? <laughs> well, I, you know, truth be known, it, 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 for me it, it started with, well, I guess growing up, I had a little Arvin radio. Yeah. And at night, you know, you could get signals that you couldn't get otherwise. Right. You could get uh, LAC. The, you know, the crew channel places, yeah. Uh, CKY went down to North Carolina at the time with yeah. country. You could get gospel and blues that you couldn't get here. And that had a distinct impression on me as a kid. Having said that, I went away to become a doctor in Boston. That didn't work. I became a commercial fisherman instead. And that wasn't going to last very long. I got a call from the Hyde Park Teen Center that was in the making. Sure. And that's a neighborhood I grew up in. And, and I had a similar idea for that when I was 15, 10 years before. Yeah. And they were going to have a teen center. And, the, the, and it was to get the kids off the street and get them active and just, you know, engaged. The theme of that, for the most part, was live music. Started with Vanilla Fudge to get people's oh, attention. My buddy, my buddy Timmy Boger. <laughs> yeah. I and love Timmy. Couldn't do an uh, act of uh, that ilk uh, 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 hardly at all, but to, to get it started, yes. And then a year later, The Grateful Dead played there. Yeah. Well, and then in between, we had just wonderful Ivan the Saber, Sacred Mushroom, uh, uh, et, the, et cetera. Great local groups which we had an abundance of in those days we had great local musicians sure. you know? and um, that ran its course and uh, when it was over uh, for me in 1968 uh, the memory kept lingering the action kept lingering and I went in pursuit of the mythical Ludlow Garage found the building on Ludlow Avenue just by coincidence was vacant and uh, just ripe for the picking and yeah. Uh, the name didn't exist then. It existed back in the 30s when it was a car dealership. Right. But I, in doing my due diligence about the history, I thought, well, that's cool. Let's just call it that. And that's where the name came from. And the facility itself was perfect uh, for that time. Yeah, I, I, it ended up with acts like Santana, uh, Grand Funk Railroad. Uh, just, I mean, what are legendary names today that played the that little short amount of time? Allman and, Brothers, uh, big uh, time. Yeah, Allman Brothers, they, I have that live CD, uh, uh -huh. live album uh, from where, where they played there. Yeah. Uh, but. I know that you were a bit young to be going to the Ludlow Garage at that time. But, but, I tried a couple of but times. But somebody who you admired, <laughs> uh, the late, great Lonnie Mack, uh, yeah. played, I think, on opening night, as a matter of fact, the very first opening night. And so, uh, it, uh, I mean, you, you playing uh, it with this 50th anniversary thing, that must be a great honor for you. It, it, it's an, an incredible treat. I, yeah. I'm, I'm honored to be part of it. And I'm, so are we. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so it's uh, two events. One is a Season Good Pavilion, uh, which is the 17th. And then on September 19th, I think you're going to do something at, at that, the That's current. a different, that's the, the people that currently operate the garage. Sure. And um, so they're, they're doing something uh, in that vein. But your, yours but is, uh, is, is... This is, is the original auto garage. And, and a lot of the staff people that were there then are involved in producing this event at uh, Season Good Pavilion in Eden Park on... Saturday, this Saturday, yeah, the three 17th. days, yeah, this seven. Saturday from noon to nine, seven acts headed by Sonny, yeah, and uh, uh, Rob Fetters, yep, Sandy Nassen, you remember him? Oh, from yes, I do, back yeah. and the Candlelight Cafe, yep, Robin Lacey, uh, David Rhodes, and the Warsaw Falcons, uh, Haymarket Riot. And then uh, things get a little crazy there with Tracy Nelson. Yeah. Uh, 
from, from Mother Earth. Earth. Okay, we got we got to go to break. But uh, Sunday, play us a little bit, a little something, and we'll go to commercial break. Uh, but it'll be on uh, the 17th, and we'll put all this information on uh, local12.com. Yeah. Uh, the 50th anniversary of the original Lelo Garage. Right. <laughs> Choke on my fingers. All right.